friends. It's just Larry checking in with you. Um, sorry for all the videos. Um, you know, Larry doesn't often do what you would call a gear review, but uh, the, the sweet people at Roland, my dear friend James Hatem, who's a sweet, sweet guy, was kind enough to send me a couple of these new pedals, yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm going to give you my whole thought process regarding all this stuff if you, if you guys got a couple minutes, okay? You guys are, some of you out there are probably a lot like me. Um, like, at this age, <laughs> I don't even know how to put this. I kind of get bummed out when people send me pedals because, it, you know, just the, the process of going through the whole thing, you know, unboxing them. You know, plugging them in, trying them out. You know, it's like I used to be so excited about it when I was younger, but at this age, I kind of just want to plug it in the amp, you know. But, but you know, I actually was very excited about this one because James kept telling me that there's this new Roland Space Echo pedal and it's coming along. And, you know, you guys know how much I love the Space Echo and Tape Echoes. So it showed up. They sent me two pedals. They sent, they sent this big one, which is called uh, an RE-202 and a smaller one, which is called an RE-201. Okay, let me just go through the whole thing for you. Okay, I've been doing this for so long, um, and I'm not really what you'd call like a, a you know technology kind of guy. So I have the whole sort of you know old man gear thought process that happens in these types of scenarios. Okay, so um, I guess it's like going out on a date with a woman. You know, first impressions for me on this type of thing are, are, are crucial. You know, like, you can tell almost in about a minute if this is going to be anything you could ever do anything with or, or ever really going to use, you know. There, you know, there's this whole sort of criteria, things that I do, you know, when I'm trying to pedal. And, and uh, I got to tell you, I've been goofing with this for about, you know, 15 minutes. I just pulled out of the box and, and right out of the gate, it's fucking awesome. It's just awesome. Okay, first thing I do with the pedal, I'll show you in a minute, but I already did it with this one. Plug it in and just, you know, see how intuitively you can get something going without having to look at a manual, you know, like does it make any sense, you know, in an intuitive level. And this thing, immediately, I can figure it out in two seconds because I'm like, I've used Space Echoes my whole life, and, well, my whole adult life. And then I, then I, you know, play the guitar right into the amp and get rid of the pedal and just see what it's doing to the sound. That's another big thing for me. So far, this thing has passed all those tests. Um, it's kind of a shit camera angle here, but, you know, this has all the features, you know. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm so bad at this kind of thing. Gear reviews. Uh, it has all the features you would find on the faceplate of a, you know, a Roland 501, you know. Um, mode selector, you know, it's got a... It's got, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, repeats and the intensity, the echo volume, and it has the the bass and treble controls for the effect only, which is one of my favorite things, as I mentioned, about the Roland Space Echo. And it also has a couple cool things that you're not going to get out of an old Space Echo, uh, tap tempo being one of them. It's got the built-in reverb. I'll show you that in a minute. Um you know, I'm not certainly not an expert at working this thing in the first 15 minutes, but right out of the gate, I got it going, and it sounds really good. Um, I don't know how much it costs. I have no idea, but it's uh, it looks like a really cool pedal. You know, it's about double the size of a normal pedal, right? So it's not too big or anything crazy, you know. But, I mean, listen to this, man. Here's, I'll just play a, like a long delay. I'll just play one note, you know, or one chord. Oh, here you go, ready? I turn the echo volume off, and here it is. I'm turning it up to about three. Here's about five. So, you know, I've got the wow and flutter, which you can control. I've got it about halfway up right now. I'll turn it up a little bit. Lovely big fan of any modulated delay like we all are, you know. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. So, get the delays. I don't know how long they get, but they get long as hell. That's always good, right? Let me show you. Uh, I've got, you know, the bass and treble controls on this. I've got, I had the treble turn all the way down there. You can select between, you know, aged tape and new tape. I'll put the EQ controls flat, and then I'll show you the difference. Here's, here's, here's new tape setting. <laughs> Here's the aged. I like that. That's cool. That sounds good. Okay, so uh, another great thing about this pedal, which is a big deal in a delay pedal for me, um, it doesn't work on any sort of mix control. You know, a lot of cool delays or not so cool delay pedals out there have like a mix control. So when you're playing, and then you hit the delay on, you lose a bunch of level and you can't get it back. This thing has got tons of gain on the effect. It can run you out of the room. You could turn the echoes up real loud. So that's a big plus for me. I like it when a delay pedal also acts as a bit of a boost, you know, when you kick the echoes on, you want a little tough guy stuff, you know, tough guy delays, like an old Echoplex. <laughs> Okay, so let me just show you. Um, let me just show you the reverb now. Okay, there's a there's a, a button in the middle, and you got to hold it down to turn the verb on. Okay, let me do that. I've got it set at about five. Typical crappy verb like these. All like even the original Space Echo is not a great verb, but it's it's sort of like you know Japanese horror movie sounding. And you can you control the EQ on that. Now watch. Well, I don't really notice a huge difference in the EQ on the reverb. Maybe the maybe the EQ is mainly working on the delay only. See, on the old ones, you can EQ the reverb really, you know, really good with this with the two knobs. Yeah. So there's that, uh, and then uh, I'm just going to show you the difference. Here's like typical amp. I'm using an old deluxe reverb. Here's I turned the verb off on this new pedal, and I'm turning the amp verb up. That's, you know, classic Fender. And then here's this thing again. Kind of mid-rangey, you know, kind of tunneled, you know, sort of lo-fi, it's cool. But I will say the, 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 the yeah, and it's, it works good. See, now here's another thing with delayed pedals, okay? When you're, when you're low tech like me, uh, for some reason, some of these delay pedals you get, you go to tap tempo and it just doesn't do the tap tempo. Like you have to be in some other mode. You know, I like a delay pedal where, where no matter what mode it's in, when you hit that tap tempo, it does the tap tempo. This thing does that. It's easy to get a tap tempo. That's cool. Um, that's a big plus for a Luddite like me. Um, it has this knob right next to the wow and flutter that's sort of this like saturation where you can crank it way up. Um, here, I'll show you that. I'll turn the verb off. I'll get a little bit of delay going, you know, like a bit shorter delay. Tap tempo. Cool. It does what you want it to. That's always nice. And here's the saturation. I got it on about five right now, and now I'll crank it up, so... I see. It's not what I thought it was. Saturation must only work as like a distortion, I think, or for the for the. Uh, it's not. It's not another gain control. I thought it was. See, I don't really know this pedal. I'm figuring it out. Gives you a little dirt. That's clean. Man, that's cool. A little bit of fuzz. I like that. Okay, um, it's got a mode selector that goes through, uh, like, what has it got, fucking 12 modes. Um, I see some of them are multi-head, like the original Space Echo was, which I never used. I never used multi-head, or what you'd say, multi-tap delay. I don't do that. That's not a Larry thing. 
Um, but it's got a lot of modes. You get. Let's see what the slap. See, let's see if I'm gonna do a good slap back here. Let's see. Turn the delay, the intensity way down. Go to mode one. Okay. Saturation all the way up. I'll turn it down. Here's the bottom floor all the way up with slap back. This is a cool pedal. I don't know what it costs, um, but it passes Uncle Larry's tests. I'm just saying, get one of these, you'll like it, okay? All right, guys, thanks for watching one of my rare gear reviews. Take it easy out there.